to Wolf. Sick. And what is the stage? <laughs> nice. Wait, did you say sick? You're not about the cloud? What's going on, Bam? Alright, well, let's see what stage we were we were actually supposed to get. <laughs> oh, that, that explains its strides. Yeah, I forgot that the Yoshi tournament was last week from our very own 2GG Sid. So that makes a lot of sense. Whoops. But okay, both players selecting their stages and characters. Here we go. Let's try it again. Sonic versus Wolf. Sonic versus Enhanced PV. All right, Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, it does, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. I thought I lost you there for a second. Oh, you know, uh, internet crazy, man. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> apparently uh, a lot of us getting got got by the internet today. So yep, def definitely got got. See ya. <laughs> what was the setup? So, okay. okay. I love low reverse homing attack as well because uh. you can do uh, reverse homing attack into up air one and then that combos into like jab or like ang up angled f tilt <laughs> and from there like it's so hype oh i and love this setup yes yes and the spring actually uh put a little bit more damage onto yeah. enhanced pv yeah so yeah spin dash jump onto when you can carry them to platforms you can get landing there and you, you can do like so many cool things like it's it's so lit like if you actually are able to carry them to those platforms okay the sour soft spot dash attack into a sweet spot dash attack easy damage for enhanced pv man he definitely thought he was gonna just run in we're seeing more dash go, attacks good catch. Go. back throw where's the down smash right. with the ledge there. F tilt what is F -tilt. it oh god i'm gonna jump this big yo oh, yep, and he nice. waited for the air dodge that's <laughs> how you do it that's how you do it Mm. Okay, so enhanced PV will flashing back on the oh, ledge. Oh wow! Okay, eat so, they, right, so we're gonna switch out the commentary. So uh, going down, both characters are on the upsides of the stage. A beautiful down smash, closing out the stock there by PV. They were going into two stocks apiece. Sonic's at seven percent, and PV at twenty six point eight percent. That's true, but the beautiful Wolf Blaster does catch Sonic's as he approaches. And now Sonic's doing a couple of up airs of his own, putting 64% yes. onto Enhanced. Absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful stuff there. The pressure has him off on the ledge. They step back. CPV with a Nair. Nair's not going to land. We see Sonic step back from the side of stage. Goes for homing attack. Looks for opportunity here. Get a punish on the ledge. Not going to get that forward smash. I'm going to sit back and reset into neutral. And that's right. Going right back into that jumping uh, homing attack. Now... Throwing out a couple of nairs of his own, retreating to the platforms. Oh, running into Enhanced PV's face. Sonic's playing very aggressive. Yeah, very, very smooth stuff there. Sonic's at 42.9%. And, of course, we are looking at uh, PV sitting at 80.5%. Both players are on the second stock. That's true. Okay, there's that hit with the homing attack. But PV is able to answer right back. Oh, spin attack into forward air from Sonic's. He's going to step back. He's trying to get him on the ledge. He's going to go back into mystery. No, he's going to run on the side. Pew in the middle gets a... Wow, point blank blaster goes into Wolf Flash. That's not going to hit. It's going to be okay, though. Not going to get punished. See the step yeah. back. Who is going to be able to get some extra damage here? We see a lot of whiff tomahawks coming out from PV, but the back air trades with PV's uh, Nair. Okay, run up, grab, forward throw from Sonic's. And now the spring is going to put on a little bit of extra damage onto Enhanced PV. A couple of F-Tilts yes. coming out and retreating yeah, from the blaster. Yeah, F-Tilt will kill from Sonic on the side of the stage at around uh, one, one, like late 130s, um, 140s, especially if it's fresh. Very, very solid tilt overall, and you can use it as an anti-air if you angle it up. So it's very, very good. 
and we're only 74 percent on sonics you know he's really just trying not to get hit at the ledge but covering the ledge with a forward air sonics able to close out the second stock from enhanced pv to sit back good landing there have another opportunity here for pv pv let's a rip man strong forward smash not going to land though he needs to find its mark 94 percent right. on sonics at two stocks and of course we have PV here at one stock, 21%. Not too far of his deficit. Just needs to find himself a kill to make this work. Sonic's playing very patient, taking his time on these platforms, making it very difficult to tell when he's going to approach. Staying in spin dash, spin dashing from one side of the stage to the other with enhanced PV sitting pretty in center stage. Okay, oh, there we go. Beautiful spin catch. I love that. Feigning the uh, defensive play and then he automatically comes back in with a homing attack. Going for pressure, gets him off side of the stage. Good up air out of the spin dash jump. Trying to catch that landing. PV is going to find his landing, but not before taking a ton of percent. Now sitting at 74%. Now 91%. Beautiful bear there from Sonic. Sonic's going to drop the spring on him. Tries to go for two frame forward smash. Not going to get it. Okay, enhanced PV back. answering back with his own S smash, but it's going to whiff. Now Sonic's knowing he is in danger. Uh, retreats to these platforms again. With enhanced PV sitting in center stage, throwing out a couple of blasters, only one connecting, but going underneath the blaster shot, Sonic able to land a spin tack or a spin dash. Okay, and Sonic's kind of sitting back on the right side of the stage, just jumping for spin dash, air dodging onto the on that platform, finally gets the catch he needed, gets a bear, hits him all the way side stage, or we're gonna drop a spring. Spring's not gonna land, but the bear will, and that will be the stock two stock. Two stock right then and there by Sonic's. Beautiful play. Only at 100%. That's right. So Sonic's able to take game one here in winner's finals. Uh, for the stream, we know that you weren't able to see. That's where we went to more play-by-play. -play. Uh, but match is over. So hopefully game two should be able to view the entire set. Or the rest of the set. I'm hoping they run right back into it. I think we're waiting just to make sure that everyone can see it. Chat, we all know that you cannot see the set. <laughs> they were literally playing the set. <laughs> you can't stop the middle of the set. I, I hope that is understood. <laughs> that they can't literally just stop in the middle of the set. Sonic's won at two stock 100 percent, cool the majority of the people understand everyone else is a troll sick thanks sonics <laughs> won the game uh two stock 100 percent. went to drop a spring on pv's recovery the spring missed uh pv rolled back on the stage and as sonics was falling down from doing his up b he landed with a bear and killed him yeah uh, so here we go, game two, final destination. So now we're, in, we're not going to have access to platforms, and that's a really smart call from Enhanced PV because Sonics is definitely making great use of chilling on those platforms, uh, which really doesn't allow Enhanced PV to pressure with his blaster. Mm -hmm. There we go. Wall jump yeah, into spin dash is so so hype. You sit back, man. PV is not okay. There he goes. Spills blaster that time around. He can get punished. Okay. Yeah, far away blaster is always going to be really good because it's going to stop those preemptive spin charges. Those are the ones that you really really want to stop, or like the grounded spin dashes. But the blaster has so much lag. If Sonics is able to release the spin dash at the correct time, he can just go right under it. Yeah, but the, the so the, the blaster, regardless, will still hit him. Oh, you're dead. Oh. All right, big S smash connects for Sonics. Now Sonics retreating back to the back to the, the ledge. I'm gonna get punished. There you go. Yeah. So 
seen a lot better uh, blaster usage from PB. He's still not trying to hop, hop the landing. Okay, spin. Spin dash into homing attack. Easy damage for Sonics. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a cute option from Sonics. Saw the another down smash coming out instead, just mm -hmm. jumped away <laughs> and hit him. Hit Wolf. Forget this claws. Yeah. Just sit back. Okay, there's a laser. Laser gonna stop the approach from spin dash. Yeah. See the problem is I feel that uh, PV he's getting some decent lasers. But he will always go for like one laser and then he'll kind of sit back and go back to everything again. He has not convinced Sonics to stop, especially where he's at right now. So he's going to get a. I mean, Sonics right here is sitting on a potential three stock the way that he's playing. Oh, for sure. But the way that Sonics has been playing, like, like you said, the Enhanced PV doesn't have the answer at the moment. Sonics is just going to continue to abuse homing attack and spin dash. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Did he, yeah, he's just trying to stop. <laughs> he, when you see someone go for aerial spin charge into like direction air dodge to dash grab, that that's just like, oh yeah, I got this. That's the move, that's that's the flare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's how you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Dude, if someone goes to your shield and does aerial spin charge and then air dodges in the ground and dash grabs you, <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely like I, I, I got this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, like look, well, he's just air dodging back on the ground. Like he's just trying to be fast. Whoop. He is definitely moving around. When he is, uh, when Sox is feeling himself, it's very difficult to tell what the heck he's gonna do. Yeah. Okay, spin dash into back air. Back air is going to whiff. Hands PV. Where are these? Where are the blasters? Yeah, he's... Okay. That's not gonna kill just yet. I'm from across stage. Yeah. A little... A little cautious about these... These wolf flashes, too. We, I mean, if... Enhanced PB continues to play wolf in, in game three, and I think we're gonna see Sonic trying to two-frame those wolf flashes. They just yeah. kind of, it lets Wolf hang there for so long. Yeah, so this this looks like it's going to be a, a game two here to Sonics. It seems that he was having a, a very hard time knowing how to kind of navigate around the spin dash. And he's going for shield. We're not seeing uh, long distance blasters. We're usually seeing blasters in mid range. And that's when Sonic can go for homing attack too. Yeah, it seems like uh, Enhanced PV wants to box Sonics, and that's not the game that Sonics wants to play. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, going for Pivot Grab. Sonic just continues to retreat to neutral. F tilt center yeah. stage. Yep, at 177. Okay, so might be time to bring out the cloud. Yeah. Not not because, you know, I'm all about cloud and I want to see cloud all the time, but I think I think this is the call. Yeah. What what uh let's let's say what do you even do against Sonics who play like this? Uh you have to understand where the holes is. Like, again, oh, for a lot of people and I understand. I understand because I used to main Sonic. I play a multitude of other characters as well. So I understand that the way that a lot of this stuff is going to look to me is going to look very different for everyone else. Um, but a lot of people don't understand where where you can beat spins and where you can't. Literally only the first half of his spin dash jump. The first half is intangible. Everything else his hurtbox and hitbox are literally the same size. So, like, basically, like, jabs can beat out 
uh, or will either beat out aerial ones, aerial spins, or it will clank with grounded spins. Jabs. Literally just jabs. Holding jab. You can do nares, but then if they mix up timings, then they can punish you after you do your nair, right? Um, lasers are really good. The space out and stuff as well, but it's like, if you know when they're going to jump, like, you can actually jump out there and put out nares, and it will, it will outright beat it. Like, it will lose. So, that these these are the kind of things, but the problem is a lot of people don't identify what it is, and so what happens a lot of times, and Sonics purposely do this, is you go into space where they try to land on you with an aerial, and you use spin dash in the first half of the hop, the small little hop that he does, and it beats something they do, and they think to themselves, oh my, and then you just use all the other spins, and everyone thinks that they can just beat it, so they just get jammed. <laughs> yeah, it's that. I mean, for sure, it's going to be harder on, like, online versus offline. But to be honest, like, the way that people should play against Sonic is, like, you just put these preemptive hitboxes out there and it just loses. Right? And then it's, like, especially if you see someone trying to mix up in your space that way, put yourself in a space where you can react. Like, going to Sonic in mid-range sucks because he's just going to dash back and do whatever he wants. Like, what he's doing right now. Whereas if you step back, you can do lasers long distance. They can't really punish you from there. And if they start going airborne, then it's like you reactively do something. What's up? <laughs> Is that what we're doing? And you know what oh, you gotta do sure. to me up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, no. No problem, man. No problem. And, like, you can see the way that he is, like, the way um, Phoebe's playing a, a little bit better now. He's, like, putting out the things preemptively. He's, like, stepping out. He's not chasing Sonic. Like, you don't want to do that, you know? Yeah, he's playing it so much better. Like, right there, when he rolled back, he actually could have just dash attacked because he, Sonic couldn't jump out of that. He already jumped and went to a, a spin. So he already committed to a spin. Like, knowing when Sonic actually is committing versus when he's just doing stuff that he can just jump out of is huge. Oh, getting caught by the spring. Huh? No, you're good. Oh, say that again? Um, usually I I'm really I make it a note whenever I'm playing against Sonic is paying attention to uh when he double jumps and doesn't. Uh if he's in the air, I pretty much treat it as a, like a the worst hitbox in the world, and I just uh, do something like grounded and chase. Uh, if he does a double jump out of something, then whatever spin that he does afterwards, he is forced to do that into a short hop. He can't do anything out of it until he like lands back down on the ground, which means that you can just do anything to hit his landing. But yeah, as long as one of those characters where double jump is going to be very, very big, because that allows him to kind of pull out about any of these moves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you're the That goat. makes a lot of sense to you are. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, homing attack. So, homing attack on shield is very safe. If it does not hit your shield, it's laggy. Um, it's kind of like Peach Bomber. So, you can go for, uh, if you see it, you can reactively spot dodge. Now, that's going to be obviously a lot harder to do online versus offline. But you can, like, you can go spot dodge, and then they'll bounce off, they'll just hit the ground, and they're in a ton of lag, where you can go ahead and do a, uh, a smash attack. Yeah, Sonic has a lot of control. Hey, look at that. There's that, uh, there that wolf flash I was talking about that's not exactly mm -hmm. safe. Oh, runaway right taunts. That's okay. Both these players have been taunting each other. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, this, again, this is going to be hard because it's like learning a, a nuanced matchup like Sonic against someone who's actually like real. Like, Sonic's is very, very, very good. So it's just that's going to be hard. But I mean, you know. and SPV is doing a good job. He's been adjusting. It took him a couple games to get started with his wolf, but I mean, mm -hmm. he's here. He's... 
get a very good start to, to game three. Oh, there yep. we go. But good patience. Set up here. Onyx. Yep. Yeah, like, dude, that that bear that uh, that PV did it was actually really good at the ledge, but he retreated away. Like, in in that situation, if he like went and just stayed where he was, like, you just you just outright beat that uh, that spin like that. Like, those kind of spins are really bad because you can just go ahead and just outright just punish it. But again, it's something that a lot of people don't know and they respect it. And that's the way that Sonic's is playing. Sonic's understands where you are respecting him too much and then so you can abuse it okay then you see uh like that's yeah so he used his double jump there so that's what again that'd be a situation where you can go for a dash attack up smash uh a nair those kind of things but it's you're not going to learn that overnight and most people aren't going to sit down and actually play against sonic <laughs> See spin dash sending enhanced PV very high up. Oh, Sonic not want to does not want to interact with uh, enhanced at the moment. Okay, and attack it then yeah. next and then yep. F smash. Sonic's S smash is actually huge. Oh, that's, dude, that's one of the best S smashes in the game. It's crazy. What do you say? Uh, you need to accept that Sonic character is busted. Sonic is an amazing character. <laughs> Sonic is an amazing character. I've been saying it from day one. I don't care what anyone says. The, the character is very, very good. And the ultimate thing, too, is, like, I will express counterplay strategies because I think a lot of people don't know what the counterplay is. And so some things that people get annoyed about, it sucks because it looks very, very solid. And some of it is really good, but also some of it is just people just don't know what to do. So, of course, like, as a commentator, being able to be knowledgeable in those certain things, I want to talk about it to people so they know like how these things work um so they at least get better at it at the end of the day though sonic is really good <laughs> so it is what it is yeah people sleeping on sonic are really stupid i've been saying all day for sure But said, I'm going to camp him if he's literally shield camping and spamming laser. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, people are, people are just funny. See, this, this is a thing though, right? When you, when it comes down to like Sonic, Sonic is a character that's made to like whiff punish and bait like you know that's 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 literally the character. So if someone's going to do that, then what do you do? You either if you do something preemptive, right? Or you slow yourself in there and try to do safe pressure. But then he can step back. And so I don't know. It it's funny. Yeah, like exactly like what Fan Bam's saying. Like, you're who's not gonna try to camp a Sonic if they know Sonic is a traditionally like safe play style, and like dashing far 